Well, as we speak and uh, we wait for the steady state to arrive, uh, without any back pressure exerted on the uh, membrane itself, uh, this is fully open by making sure that it's fully counterclockwise and this is fully open. So the valve, the fluid flow is a through membrane out and then go back to the tank. All right, uh, you realize that the pressure built up now has gone into a very steady value which is 7.4. The flow rate across the membrane is 6.2. Alright, I will ask uh, my assistant to help me uh, to slowly close this bar such that the pressure presented here is at 10 bar and uh, you will see the flow at 6.2 will be slowly reduced as we sh shut off and uh, bring the bar position to a closed position. Do you mind? Okay. Uh, the valve is now very very slowly uh, closed and you observe that the pressure value is changing right now 7.2, 7.4 We realize that by adjusting this valve uh, V16 is a very effective way to help you to reduce the amount of uh, vibration uh, caused by uh, the high pressure pump on the brake pressure regulating valve here. So first of all, the very very initial um, rough adjustment can be achieved by using V16. Okay, as you turn on, it will take about maybe half a minute or one minute to get to somewhere close to about nine point. 5 ish, yeah, 9.6. Okay, 9.8, 9.9. Uh, Sometimes you can just achieve 10 bar or 9.9 .9 bar using uh, just the V16 itself. Okay, well, amazing. Uh, we have uh, got 10 bar back pressure across the membrane right now. You see on the graph itself, the pressure value has shot up. Okay, this much while the flow remain relatively steady at a flow frequency of 15 Hertz okay so this is where we can do a separation by using this setting here now uh, All right, okay, we will uh, resume. Uh, notice that um, the permeate uh, valve is not open in this case. We should open it initially, but it doesn't matter in uh, this set of experiment because what happened is uh, we are not using a real uh, membrane per se. We will do a real membrane on membrane number two, which we have run with Professor Porchen. Uh, that's using the nano filtration membrane NF-2 uh, that was given to you uh, that was given by you to us we have used your membrane on membrane 2 for membrane 3 it's just a plastic film uh, has no permeability or zero permeability whether we open V9 or not it doesn't matter because no solution is coming in from V9 uh, should you collect any solution on uh, the permeate uh, sample, you can always turn on this valve and shut off this valve uh, to get the appropriate amount of uh, permeate coming out from uh, the permeate side. Okay. All right. So I have got uh, 6.2 as my flow rate and 10 bar as my pressure. All right, uh, at 15 hertz. Now, uh, if I want to increase the flow rate, also at 10 bar, what I can do right now is to increase the frequency slowly. But that's not advisable. Uh, we should always start by 
uh, from uh, st start changing the flow rate by sh uh, shutting off the pump feed pump right now uh, and then uh, we should uh, stop the experiment and then fully open the valve to release the pressure and then increase it to maybe 18, 19 or 20 hertz uh, as we move along. So this is a, a more safer way. If we increase it directly like this, uh, which we will give you a negative demo right now, you see that you, ex you will exert a lot of pressure on the membrane and this value is likely to overshoot very very quickly. Okay, you might want to start, let's say 20, go up to 20 hertz. Okay, the noise level is going to go up. And you will see that it overpressure very, very quickly. Very, very quickly. Uh, and the program itself will activate its uh, emergency shutdown. Uh, there's an overpressure error here. You need to physically stand by the computer and click on this clear error button. That will allow you uh, to clear the error and then you can move on to do the experiment. So realize that just now as we, as we uh, increase the flow frequency of the uh, pump, uh, the pressure in along the, the the line has built up to beyond 15 bar which is the pressure limit that we set here okay uh